Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am Dima and today our brother Dawood Kim is back and now let's watch him. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello brothers and sisters, I am Dawood Kim. Um, uh, especially uh, Korean Imam Abdul Al Qori helped me a lot and it was really helpful. Uh, he was the only one Korean Muslim who helped me when I was in trouble so uh, I really appreciate it. Guys, Imam al Kari is a wise man and really it's nice to know there is men like him and I just wanna say, Imam al Kari, big respect to you. Appreciate. Anyway, I've repented deeply and felt many things. The guilt and shame, responsibility and it was really painful. Even my friends, um, I, I thought they were friends but uh, they left me and blame and cancelled me in social media and yeah it was not easy and some people even threatened um, against me and my family very seriously so it was scary too and when I see my family what about other Korean Muslims probably they didn't give him a kind word and I feel him how hard it is when you're almost alone and in my opinion it's not even that situation when people can say uh, don't forgive him he's a liar and blah 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 I understand if he would rape her and go to the jail and after a few years he came out and going to rape girl again. You understand what I mean? It's so crazy how people can insult and threaten him and his family. Even I know some of uh, those subscribers, they did it uh, to that poor girl and from both sides are insults and threats. Of course it's not right and so sad to hear this really suffered from this my heart broke and I felt like I was standing at the end of a cliff and um, I, I thought like how to live my life should I finish or something guys I didn't understand what he meant but I hope it's not that meaning what I'm thinking about but alhamdulillah Surprisingly, the most painful moment in my life, what I found was Allah. Uh, it was so painful, so I started reading Quran from the beginning, SubhanAllah. I don't know why I did it, but I had to do something because I had too much pressure. But the Holy Quran told me, all my servants, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Indeed, Allah forgives all sins. Indeed, it is He who is the forgiving, the merciful. So, if I truly repent, Allah gives me the opportunity to be a better person, even, even though I'm a sinner. So, I cannot give up my life here. I want Allah to give me a chance. And I want to follow Allah's guide and become a better person and better Muslim. Of course. Of course he cannot give up, guys. And if you truly repent to Allah, really, Allah will forgive us for sure, 100%. Some people say uh, we cannot forgive Dawood, but listen, guys. What do you offer him? Like, Or maybe you think... Uh, he had to say like, I'm not Muslim anymore. Yeah, it sounds so funny. He is Muslim still and he will be a Muslim because he knows the truth and he knows there is only one truth. So that's why he is Muslim, I am Muslim and you are Muslim. So guys, it's nice to see Dawood. Uh, he looks great really. He looks strong and he is so confident now. And I really believe him, what he is saying. He will try his best and we are all will try to be the best. So we should learn more and be so open and to think from different corners. And I wanna say in YouTube, many uh, Muslim YouTubers, our responsibility to show people how Islam is beautiful and how Islam makes people only to the best side so inshallah we will do our best and 
and Dawood he is the most popular YouTuber uh, among Muslims. So and I believe in the future he can do only best things and uh, continue to show people how Islam is beautiful. So my brothers and sisters, thank you for watching me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, wish you all the best and see you next time.